Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you how you can uh, use a very quick trick to visualize your CV and see the levels that your CV are um, outputting in a visual way because a lot of times you get lost when you start working with CV and you want to say, okay, well, how's this CV affecting things? So here's one quick trick that you can do. Um, create a combinator. Um, everything's going to be inside the combinator. And then what you can do is uh, create a Thor. And I'm going to use, just as an example, I'm going to create a Maelstrom. And the Maelstrom is going to be, well, it doesn't matter. The Maelstrom, we're going to listen to it there. OK, that's your sign. Um, uh, the sustain is on. Sustain on. Okay. All right. So um, you, this is one way that you can visualize a CV. Right now, you can see what the CV is doing for mod A. So what we'll do is we'll take mod A as an example, and we're going to send that to rotary one on the Thor. We're going to turn up the rotary value to 127, the trim knob. Uh, we're going to turn it around. We're going to open up the programmer. In the Thor, we're going to take rotary 1, which is this uh, rotary right here, and we're going to go down to knobs and buttons and click on rotary 1. You can now see what your CV is doing. Um, what we want to do probably is reduce the rate so that you can actually see how it's moving. Okay, And this is your straight sine wave. And you can see the value when you hover over it. Um, your value shows up in a tooltip. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, if you, let's say you do this, square wave, it's going to go from 127 to 0, and then back to 127, back to 0. Uh, if we look at, let's see, if you look at this, you're going to see it goes, travels slowly up to 64, and then back down to 127. So that's a way to visualize it. If you have something that is not visual, let's say the filter envelope, for example, you just need to route that through the same way. And now when you play a note, your filter envelope is going from 63 to 127. If you take the filter envelope and you increase the attack, it goes a little bit more slowly to 127. Let's do a little bit more. So you can now visualize your attack on your filter envelope. Increase the release. And when you lift it up, it goes back to 64. So now you're visualizing both the attack and the release. You're visualizing the whole envelope of the filter envelope. So that's just a quick trick on how you can visualize your CV using a Thor knob um, and the actual tooltip. It's what I find to be the quickest way to visualize CV inside um, Reason. It doesn't require a lot of setup. The only setup it requires is to have the CV going into Rotary 1, have the trim knob up to 127, and then you have to program the Thor so that Rotary 1 is um, looking at the Rotary 1 on Thor. And that's all there is to it. So that's just a quick tip. I hope that uh, helps you out when you're working with your, uh, your own designs. Again, I'm Rob, and you can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for listening.